Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna do something fun tonight. I am going to, I guess it's today. I'm going to do a pearl colored painting again. So those are the magical paints that are pearlescent and shift to the color that they are designated on the tube once they dry. It normally works better on a dark background. I've been playing around with these with the ice scoop that I did and a couple of, I almost said ice cream, <laughs> and a couple other ones. But this time I layered my cup with the pearl colors and I'm gonna do a ring pour in the center. From there, I'm gonna puddle black and then I'm gonna puddle the colors and then I'm gonna swipe through it and I am just hoping that it's gonna dry to be like super colorful. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let's paint. All right, so for the first part of this, I'm gonna take up, try to take up a pretty good amount of space with the ring pour. And that is not white that's gonna be in the center. I think it's violet, actually. Tiny little rings all the way around. All right, phew, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, I need to come up with some new jokes. I have the same jokes all the time. I got jokes. All right. So although a lot of you appreciated my um, Forrest Gump joke that I did about the box of chocolates. So I was pretty happy about that one. <laughs> um, okay. So I think I'm just going to go ahead. I have a little bit of black left over here. So I'll just puddle this on this side. And then I think I want a little bit more paint there. And then I'm gonna puddle on this side. And then, I, actually that was probably too much paint because I'm gonna puddle the colors on top. But, oh well, maybe I'll mix it, scrape it off my table and see what pearlescent color I get from it. All right, let me torch. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the green puddles. I should have poured these into smaller containers, but you know, it is what it is. I don't need too much paint. I just need it to sit on the surface. Woo. All right. Okay, next I'm gonna do my blue. I do love this blue pearlescent color. The blue and the violet I think are my favorite and the red comes out a really pretty almost maroon type red. I wanna have enough space to keep some of the black there. I'll go violet next. This looks like a bow tie. <laughs> and then I'm deciding whether or not I want to wreck these puddles. I think I will, but I don't know if I wanna do it with my head scratcher or let me see, where's my red? Yes. If I wanna do it with my head scratcher or if I wanna do it with this tool to get some more intricate lines. I have not decided. I didn't leave enough room for my red, really. Those will definitely go off the end. All right, here we go. So let me see. Yeah, I like this because this gives a more woven look and the head scratcher just comes through in kind of one direction. And you could swipe it in the other direction, but I like this. I'm gonna stick with this. The next question 
is do I wreck the ring pour? I think I'm gonna leave this one without. And if I don't like it, the next one I do, I can wreck that too. I can already see the color starting to pop up here. Again, I always get to this point and I'm like, do I swipe? Because this is really pretty the way that it is. But I think I will. But the one thing I'm going to do, I think this outer edge, I will swipe or will blend together with the background, but that's it. All right, let's go. I'm going to swipe with black because that shows up better for the pearl colors. And let me see, do I want to swipe? I think I want some, a couple big swipes. And then a couple small ones. Maybe, we'll see. Swapping on through. So I'm gonna swipe through here. Those colors are mwah, chef's kiss. And I'm trying to decide because I actually really like this pattern and I know that it's gonna be those pearl colors. So I don't know if I'm gonna swipe again. I'm gonna swipe on this side here and up through it here. Now the only part that I don't love is this right here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out whether I wreck it or do something. And this side, I love it as is. So I'm not gonna do any more swipes. What I am gonna do is one tiny little swipe on that side over there. Whoop, I had a little bit of stuff on there. All right. Okay, so this side, I'm just gonna swipe to meet it down there. Okay. That is it. Okay. Ah. Now for this part. I don't know. Hope I don't mess this up, but I just, I'm not in love with this, how it kind of protrudes into there. I wonder if I can maybe stretch it. I'm trying to take one of the lines that I already have. I don't want to mess with it too much. I think I'm just going to leave it be. All right. So off we go. I think maybe to this side first. Deciding which side to stretch to is also an art in itself. While I'm down here, I guess I'll stretch this side. So I actually, I just took a look at this and I like this design here. So before I stretch it out anymore, I think I'm just going to add it to this side as well. I feel like it added a little bit more. Interest to it. Not a lot, but just a little. All right, so now let's keep stretching over to this side. Don't want, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love the wrecked puddles on that side. Okay, I wanna save them, I wanna save them, and I wanna come back this way a little bit. Oh, this one's heavy. Wow. Whew. Okay. I need to take a look. I'll tell you what I'm loving and what I'm not loving. What I'm not loving is when this stretched out, I'm sad I lost this corner down here, but it, it fits 
perfectly here. So it's one, two, and then almost like a third one. Those extra swipes that came through here are really cool. This got stretched out and I'm not in love with this that I did now. I do wish it had been kind of more straight, I guess. And I do want my, I don't know if it's possible, if I have enough paint, my ring pour in the center got a little bit wonky. So I think next time I do it, I will wreck that. But I'm wondering if I do just a very small straight swipe through. And I know some people are gonna be like, why did you do that? But I'm just gonna try it and see. Just a very clean, it's gonna be very small cells, but just a straight swipe through on that side. I don't know, what do we think? Definitely just added basically more black to it. I wanna do it very thin along this side. Okay, I feel like that straightened that part up. It's just this side. I like that, that I did it as a very small line. This was too heavy through here. But All right, so overall, I'm very happy. This part here, I wish I had done a smaller strip here, but I am so excited to see how this dries. I am definitely gonna do this again, and I feel like I might even do, and I've done it before, but I loved the pattern, the wrecked ring pour by itself. Let me know if you wanna see that one. Um, the only part that is not my favorite up here is that section right here. Otherwise, I love it all. I'm interested to see what color this is gonna be, if it's red or purple. Cause I can tell there's purple in the center here with blue, there's green, purple, blue, but right here, I don't know. All right, so we'll see how this one dries and I'll show you what it looks like wet. All right, here it is. I did swipe through one more time right up there. So I think that is gonna dry really pretty with purple. The, this always reminds me of uh, the artwork, the scream through the center there. The one thing I wish I would have done is pulled those all the way to the edge, but I tilted a little bit more and the paint, there just wasn't enough paint on the canvas. But if I had had enough, I would have stretched that all the way down so that I would have just had a strip of it running in the center. But look at how gorgeous that is. And then the lacing is showing up like green super cool and it's really interesting that on the black it's still tinted that green color and that edge right there is absolutely stunning I love it so I overall am actually quite happy with this piece I think it'll hang long ways my squigglies in the middle and not getting that to the edge were the two things that I would change but overall loving this piece all right, I'll show you what it looks like dry. I am so happy with this. The green lacing, it's hard to see out of the light. The pearlescent colors, that section right there that got shaded with black as I did the wrecked puddles. Oh, I love that. It looks so three-dimensional the parts that I fixed. Now in the video, that purple and that blue, all those colors in the center, they were white. 
and it was bothering me. I thought, oh man, but now that they dried actual colors, it's like I forgot. Now that they dried actual colors, I think it's perfect. And I love the little squiggly lines I added in there. It added a little bit of motion. So for these pearl colors, you just gotta let it dry and see what happens. But look at that green lacing with the purple undertone. I am so happy. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely gonna play around with this a little bit more. I wanna do a technique where I just do the puddles and wreck it because I love that section. But all right, thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.